Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for June 2022, darling. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Capricorn, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, if you're not part of this family already, what it is it that y'all are doing, okay? So let's see what it is that y'all are going through at this current point in time here, Capricorn. We have the Page of Wands coming in here. All right, you also have the Six of Pentacles stepping forward here. And then we got going on the Temperance Energy coming in. All right, Capricorn, Temperance Energy. <clears throat> hmm. I like this a lot here, Capricorn. I feel like you're going to be having an opportunity coming forward to you that is a lot more prosperous for you. Three of Cups as well in the back of the deck. Yeah, absolutely. For some of you guys here, Capricorn, you've been waiting to hear back for some news is what I get. You've been waiting to hear back for, from getting some type of news here. Maybe it's like some type of, um, you, maybe you've put in like a application for a job or audition somewhere here, Capricorn. But y'all have been at this place of like waiting to hear back from something waiting to hear back some good news and it's definitely coming here all right your patience is definitely going to be rewarded i feel like with this new situation here it's like th this new situation coming in is going to be a lot more uh prosperous for you in the sense where it's like the energy that you put into the situation you get back um a lot more than compared to other situations so let's just say you know like quite literally it's just like maybe you worked at a nine to five job that paid minimum wage minimum wage and then now whatever your next opportunity coming in um is going to be paying like i don't know like $20 an hour like whatever it is for you here right it's like this upgrade of just your your path right now is in this place of where the direction that you are going is um one where the, the next opportunity coming in is going to be just like you you get more it's, you get more for what it is that you put in right page of cups energy coming in right after the fact as well all right. Even in relationships here, I feel like your next, your coming relationships, like it's not going to feel so one sided, right? Is you're going to be manifesting relationships that, um, it's like you're not always going to be the one that's having to start the conversation or have ha, continuing on with the conversation going on that's what i see is happening i feel like for these new opportunities you know the page of cups by its own definition talks about new opportunities as well page of both of these two new energies so you have a lot of new things coming into your life here and all of them are just going to be very much so of an upgrade compared to what it is that you had like i don't know why i just keep on thinking like the sense of where it's just like the same analogy where it's just like you were working a job that was giving you minimum wage and now um you're going to be going into a job where you're going to be paying so much more so it's like you do the same amount of work for an hour but you still get you get paid so much more with this new opportunity coming in here all right you have the four of swords coming in as well here, this is a time of silence. This is a time of meditating as well. And this is also the heart of your energy here. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles coming in. Okay, here, Capricorn. So here's the thing. Y'all don't need to be taking action at this point in time. All right? The thing that y'all need to be focusing in, in on is just waiting for these new energies to come in. All right? So many of you guys that I see right now, Capricorn, had been way too much in your head. You've been, I see some of you guys just like internalizing things where you're just like, oh, if I worked harder, if I was more talented, more educated, more skilled, I would be paid more. If I was more attractive, more interesting, or whatever or whatever your excuse like those uh, reasonings are um they would be more responsive to you like that's not the thing you need to get out of your head uh here capricorn because it's like y'all are taking too many of these burdens on yourself here y'all are associating so many things that are just like out of your control in ways and putting the blame on yourself when there's really no one to be blaming all right king of wands energy yeah definitely more definitely more responsibility being put on you here capricorn i feel like some of you guys need to be and this makes sense here it's like i see so many of you guys internalizing so much of what's happening to you and like almost like suffering from like self-esteem issues or perhaps imposter syndrome here that it's just like you're afraid of doing anything that would garner more attention for you or following uh taking charge with something here and i feel like that's what it is that you need to be starting to do here capricorn all right you need to be a little bit more unapologetically like 
be so at peace with like who you are as a person and realize that you're going to be finding the people that appreciate your value that value you essentially here all right six of swords energy coming in with the three of swords here as well so yeah that's what the situation is here for you capricorn it's like you need to you need to not be afraid of walking away from your current situation here because i feel like it's just doing nothing but bringing you pain you need y'all need to get out of these situations that are that are like making you feel like you're always the ones at fault here right it's like you go to your boss and ask for a raise and they make you feel like you are not you are not qualified or educated enough to have um a higher pay raise right and so for you guys you need to be not afraid capricorn of just you know essentially just giving the middle finger to a situation and be like you know what if you're not going to appreciate me if you're not going to pay me more the um the amount that i that you know that you are worth you need to get out you, you need to not be afraid of just like booking it and finding it somewhere else here all right because again i feel like a lot of you capricorns are just suffering from in that imposter syndrome or just some type of like low self-esteem of where it's like there's, there has to be some reason as to why you are putting so much of the fault on yourself here capricorn all right and you need to get out of these toxic situations here because i do feel very much so that it that it is toxic for you all right this is essentially just a place where it's just like it's <clears throat> you just are not in the environment a conducive envi environment that is good for you personally capricorn all right this five of pentacles energy it's like the, whatever situation you have going on right now is just toxic and it's just like you are just in your head so much like i don't know if they just convinced you taurus uh, why am i calling you taurus capricorn where it's just like you, there's something wrong with you and that's why they left you abandoned what have you here but it's just like they just don't deserve you capricorn they do not deserve you whatsoever here you have the page of pentacles as well as this cherry energy this is the third page that we've got going on for you here capricorn all right and so pages again as i said is new energy here and so for you guys i see the next step of your life here is is instead of asking because i think i like said it earlier capricorn it's like instead of asking for a pay raise for somewhere you need to just go somewhere that actually appreciates you and will pay you all right it's this sense for you guys capricorn where i see that's where all the success comes in some of you guys i feel like you've like there's a situation that has just completely run its course capricorn and there's nothing more that you can get from it but because you don't see that there is there was always this expiration date with this situation from the very get-go you don't see that this expiration date being a thing and so you're just like oh this situation is starting to turn sour what can I do to improve the situation? That's what you're asking yourself. What can I do to improve the situation? What is it that I'm doing wrong that's making the situation go sour? When you, in reality, it's always been destined through, it's been written in the stars since day one, darling, of this expiration date, all right? This was meant to be here, all right? And so it's like that sense of like beating a dead horse. And it's just like, you know, like, darling, there's there's a point where you do have to make that transition call. And then come on, the story writes itself, darling, right? This full energy. Y'all are destined for the new chapter in your life here. Instead of prolonging this chapter that you've been dealing with, uh, Capricorn, start chasing after this new chapter here. All right. And what does this new chapter look like for you? Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, and Knight of Cups coming in here. Okay, this is kind of crazy here, Capricorn, because this is like, once you go into this new clean slate, it's like you have so much energy, like, waiting right behind the door, right? You have, like, it's like you have a whole group of people, a whole group of opportunities. Like, the world starts becoming your oyster entirely here, Capricorn, right? And so with this, like, you go into this next chapter, and it's just like for you it's like it's like so long overdue it's like there's been this accumulation of energy for you capricorn that's just been sitting and waiting for you to claim it but because you're just so obsessed with these situations that re have expired these relationships that have completed because you're trying so hard to fix yourself to try to like work on yourself to fix these situations that have expired you have all these energies that have just been like building up building up and that's why you, you some of you capricorns have probably felt as if you've been at this place of um 
a stalemate because it's like you have all this like the energy has been building up momentum big time stack you stacking up accumulating behind this door because it's just like the chapter's done like this is all waiting on this next like this is all in this next chapter here there's no more energy that's going to be coming in manifesting or anything like that in this current chapter it's ran its course you've like you've milked it dry essentially here capricorn right let's do one last card here knight of pentacles coming in let's do two more now knight of pentacles here with the queen of swords capricorn so <clears throat> i get for some of you capricorns the reason why um you've been holding on to this so long is because you've been promised of a better future with this situation you've been promised that the, once you get once there's a destination that's happened once the change that's happened then you'll be so much happier but i i need to say say this message here capricorn where it's like i just don't feel like it's gonna happen i don't feel like the situation's gonna change i don't feel like they're gonna change i feel like again it's like i don't know why i keep on getting like this like all these scenarios popping in my head like the dead sea like and the situations where it's just like being in like a cave where there's just like no airflow at all and i feel like that's just where your situation is at currently where it's just like there's just like it just like there's just nothing you know it's very interesting imagery that i'm being shown and i don't even know if i'm translating it right um here in capricorn but like that's how i see it as it's just like you need to embrace this new chapter because once you finally embrace this new chapter coming in for you, you have all this energy that all of that energy that you've been working, like manifesting all this stuff that um, has been uh, building up for you. It's just been sitting there waiting for you, darling. You just have to claim it. That's literally what it is. It's just like you have to be ready to claim it here. You have all this stuff accumulating there. Like all this, like again, like the world becomes your oyster just being like, um, some of you guys i get the sense that you're not going to be working the same job to get further finances all right maybe it's like the sense of where you're used to just working with like bartending jobs and it's just like well actually no it's like your next job is actually going to be something entirely different for you right um it's like just completely one it's like you're doing like you're this next chapter is going to be vastly different from your current chapter all right and so that's why you're you haven't been able to be able to elevate yourself any further is because you can't there's nothing left to grow here it's expired so um i feel like we fleshed out the messages that we needed to flesh out here capricorn so um that's the tarot that i have for you darling hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you darling okay if you did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe i also just opened up to my readings again uh private readings again on my website simplyvelka.com be sure to follow my social medias tiktok and instagram capricorn um simply velka same as here darling and i'll be connecting with you darling sometime in the near future bye capricorn